Hello, Sebastian Lacido here, and welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. Uh, we're going to continue our teaching on the creation of man and woman. We're going to look at the, what, the effects of the fall on the first couple here in Genesis chapter 3, verse 17. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake. And now, uh, he, he, when he cursed the ground, he also cursed our bodies because our bodies were made from the ground. You're going to see that. He says, In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both thorn and thistles it shall bring forth for you. You shall eat of the herbs of the, of the field, and in the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken, for dust you are, and dust you shall return. And so he's telling uh, the uh, Adam that we're going to physically die now. You're going to physically die. He also tells him you're going to have to work now. The earth was participated with you before the fall. You were in perfection. You were in the Garden of Eden. It was perfect. Now you're going to have thorns, thistles, weeds. Uh, you're going to see that the earth is going to change. The curse is going to hit the animal kingdom. Uh, you're going to have carnivorous animals. So all of that is part of the fall. I'm not teaching that today. But what I want you to see is that man goes out. He goes, in the sweat of your face you shall eat bread. In other words, man goes out now to work. So man is independent we looked at woman yesterday that she becomes a responder. She's more emotional, more internal, but man is independent. He leaves, he goes out and he comes back. Uh, he works uh, you know, to earn for the family. This was the original intent and the original creation. And naturally today things are different. I, I don't wanna get into a debate over what's going on today, but here's the thing about it. Here's the thing about it. Women need to be loved. We're going to study that uh, tomorrow. Women need love uh, more than anything. They need to feel love. Uh, when it comes even to, to sex, you know, for a woman, it's what's happened the last 24, 48 hours a week. It's, it's not, uh, you know, uh, something that's immediate. It's, it's more of an emotional thing. When you look at man, he's very independent. But we're going to learn tomorrow when we study this uh, that men need respect. Men, men actually need respect more than love. And so we're, we're different in that, you know. And, and for man, you know, when it comes to sex, for instance, it's, it's, it's now. It's in the now. It's, it's not an emotional thing. It's now. He gets aroused. And, and so, you know, we're different. And we need to understand these things. And the Bible has a lot to say about them. But here's the thing. In dealing with each other, we're, we're, we need to understand what the Bible tells us about how to communicate with each other because we're opposite in a lot of ways. You know, uh, we speak a lot of times, we meaning men, speak a lot of times without thinking things out and we're independent, we're, we're, we're more direct, uh, we lay things out, uh, we're not as emotional. And so a lot of times, you know, we, we get into stress even in the workplace, or you know, we, we deal differently. Coaching a female soccer team is different than coaching a male soccer team. It's different, and so communication has to be different. So when it comes to relating to each other, we need men need to understand what the Bible says about that communication, and a lot of it is about love and, and understanding love and understanding the emotional piece of it. And from a woman's standpoint, you have to understand that words in a man's life really matter because it's disrespect is worse than not loving him. And you'll see that in scripture uh, as we look at that tomorrow. So, you know, I wish I had more time to do these little five minute things in this particular subject matter is very difficult. But anyway, please share this with many like this. Uh, go to our website, watchersoftruth.com. Use our free materials, order workbooks, DVDs, uh, you know, download curriculum, study the word of God, help us on your journey, watchersthetruth.com. You can also help us on our journey by donating to our ministry. God bless you and have a great